Seth Rich. Seth Rich. Ooh, let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. He's a uh, very, very... Seth Rich was the young man who worked for the DNC during the 2016 Democratic primary with Bernie Sanders versus Hillary Clinton. And Seth Rich was a Bernie bro. Seth Rich was a kid that worked inside, 24-year-old, worked inside the DNC and was supporting Bernie Sanders. He was hired by the DNC to investigate new, uh, new, new voters. Investigate the new voters. He was the director of a certain branch, right? And he was somehow, some, some for mysterious reasons, was killed on the, on the streets of D.C. Two bullets in the back. No suspect. No suspects have ever been brought forward, right? Very suspicious, right? We could talk about Seth Rich, right, and his murder, right? It's fair, right? There's a real person, right, who's really murdered, right? We're just talking about it. No opinion, just talking about it, right? <clears throat> so let's look, at the, let's look at some of the reasons why Seth Rich is so important right now in this Russian, colossal Russian, Russian story that has never died, right? The Democrats are still kicking, still saying that, that Mueller is a... Uh, you know, Mueller's report should have been given to Congress in its entirety. And Trump's guy, uh, uh, William Barr, is obstructing justice and, and is in contempt of court for not giving the Democrats exactly what they need and on and on and on. Right? It's all fucking nonsense, right? The whole Mueller report is, is stacked on a pile of bullshit. And I've said it all along. When it first came out, Conti was the first one to report on and say, look, oh, page... Page 48, Seth Rich. Page 48, Seth Rich. Page 36 to 48. It talks about GRU, Russian hackers. It didn't happen. It's, it's, it's non-existent. So now we're moving. That, that ball that I, that I talked about is now being advanced. Ah, I love it. So, so here we go. So, uh, so Zero Hedge, again, knocking the skin off the ball. Thank you, Zero Hedge. Fucking Tyler Durden, who isn't even a real person, is killing it. So on the DNC leak, Mueller st state started with the prejudice that it was the, quote, Russians, and he deliberately and systematically excluded from the evidence anything that contradicted that view. I remember when I said that? That it was that everything, and, and William Barr in his own words has since said that William Barr, all William Barr did was look at Mueller's report and say, ah, this is my evidence. Right? And then he, he made his judgment about obstruction based on the evidence. William Barr and the AG never examined the evidence that Robert Mueller was supposed to do. Right? So, again, Mueller stated that the, with, with the prejudice that it was Russians and he deliberately and, and systematically excluded from any evidence anything contradictory. Right? He, took the, he took what CrowdStrike said as evidence. We'll find out more about that. Mueller, as a matter of determined policy, admitted key steps which any honest investigator would undertake. He did not commission any forensic examination of the DNC service. He did not interview Bill Benny. He did not interview Julian Assange. His failure to do any of these, those obvious things renders his report worthless. I'm going to talk about Julian Assange, too. Thank you, um, Sterling Price, for bringing it to our attention that he might be uh, being um, drugged and tortured right now in a British prison. I have that interview, that, that article. Uh, there has never been, by any U.S. law enforcement, it all ties in. Assange, Mueller report, uh, 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 Seth Rich, it's all the same story, right? Russian hacking, right? It, it all comes down to, did the Russians hack the DNC servers and deliver that information to WikiLeaks? Because if it didn't happen, then it's the, it's the same as saying Jesus never rose from the dead, right? right? It's just that the whole story falls apart. Right? There has never been, by any law enforcement or security service body, a forensic examination of the DNC servers, despite the fact that the claim that, that the claim those servers were hacked is the very heart of the entire investigation. Damn right it is. Instead, the security services simply accepted the evidence provided by the DNC's own IT security consultants. CrowdStrike, right? IT security consultants, they're not law enforcement. They're just some hired hacks that the DNC hired, a company which is politically aligned to the Clintons. The Clintons paid the bill, right? So these are the two 
factors that compound the failure, right? Mueller's failure to do this, right? This is what this is the story, right? So the first is the absolute key word of Bill Benny, former technical director of the NSA. The NSA is, for, is a $14 billion a year surveillance organization. Bill Benny is acknowledged an acknowledged world leader in cyber su- surveillance and is infinitely more qualified than CrowdStrike. Bill stated that the download rate for the hack given by CrowdStrike are at a speed of 41 megabytes per second. That could not even nearly be attained remotely at the location. Right? Thus, the information must have been downloaded to a local drive, a local device, a memory stick. Right? So, so here's the a, a director of the director of the NSA saying that no way, no way, it was a a uh, uh, a remote hack. No way, it was a download to a to a drive. Do you think that? Did, did uh, Robert Mueller go and talk to the former director who was screaming from the rooftops that it was a, uh, a download and not a hack? No, he did not. He did not. He had no interest in talking to Bill Benny. Two, Mueller identification of DC leaks and Guccifer 2.0. Those are talked about in, in the Mueller report. As Russian security services is something Mueller attempts to carry off by simple assertion. He, they, they, again, Mueller never did the investigation. Mueller shows DNC leaks to have been the source of other unclassified emails sent to WikiLeaks that had been obtained under a Freedom of Information request, and then Mueller simp- simply assumes with no proof the same route was used again for the DNC, for the leaked DNC materials. <clears throat> His identification of Guccifer 2.0 persona and Russian agents is so flimsy it's laughable. Nor is there any evidence of specific transfer of leaked DNC emails from Guccifer 2.0 to WikiLeaks. Binney asserts that had to, that ha, that the, that had this happened, the packet would have been instantly identifiable to the NSA. It never was. Right? It's it never never was. Bill Benny is not a deplorable. He is a uh, former technical director of the NSA. Mike Pompeo met him to hear his expertise on precisely this matter. Benny offered to give evidence to Mueller, yet did Mueller call him as a witness? No. Benny's voice is entirely unheard in the report. Mueller refused to call Benny and consider his evidence was not the action of an honest man. <laughs> right, here's a second piece, right? This talks about WikiLeaks Vault 7. I'm not going to read it all. But Vault 7 basically shows that the, the CIA can create a false flag hack. In other words, they can go into your computers and they can, they can put people and they can create a storyline inside of the email chain. Right? They could say, oh, yeah, a, see, that's Russian hacking. And they can, they can place footprints inside of evidence. That's why, that's why Mueller's report is invalid because CrowdStrike is, 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 uh, was paid for their dossier. You could call it that, right? They were paid to, they were paid to, to fudge the record, and, then when they, and nobody ever investigated it. It's not even like they turned it over and, and people saw it. Mueller just said, oh, yeah, here it is, and, and, it's, and, and he took it as factual. So unbelievable, so unbelievable with all the money that was spent and all the investigation that was done that he never looked at the evidence. He never, he never did it. Right? It is worth remembering that none of the charges against Americans arising from the Mueller inquiry have anything to do with Russian collusion or Trump's WikiLeaks collusion, which simp- simply did not exist. The charges all relate to entirely extraneous matters dug up under the ex- ex- extraordinary U.S. system of justice <laughs> to try to blackmail those. Right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Mueller, Mueller has indicted 12 Russians he alleges are GRU agents. Pages 36 to 48, right? Talks about GRU agents swooping into the DNC, taking over and, and sucking out the information. Didn't happen. He alleges are GRD agents responsible for the hack, quote hack. The majority of those of these turn out to be real people. Uh, for, here and there for the first time. I speculated that they might e- not even be real people. Um, have, they have jobs and, and lives which are nothing to do with the GRE. Uh, we'll take Zero Hedge's word for that. 
Mueller was taken aback when rather than simply being in abstaining, they, they showed up to court. A number of them had, rep- had representation in court to fight the charges. Mueller had to back down and ask for an immediate adjournment as soon as the case opened. Ah, shit, they showed up. Some of these Russian guys showed up in court to defend themselves. I was like, what are you talking about? Uh, that's not, th- this is all so bogus and so bizarre. Why are the Democrats and why are the Republicans arguing over and over about obstruction and, and stupidity and who said what and who didn't, who didn't file, fill, give us all the whole form? And the, This is the essence of the case, that there never was a Russian hack. And, 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 and it leads to the, the idea then, well, who, who handed it over? If there was no Russian hack, who gave the information to WikiLeaks? Right? They, they're torturing Assange, and the, the alleged leaker is dead. Mueller's failure to, to examine the servers of or take Benny's evidence pales in, into insignificance compared to his attack on Julian Assange. Based on no conclusive evidence, Mueller accuses Assange of receiving the emails from Russia. Most crucially, he did not give Assange any opportunity to answer his accusations. For somebody with Mueller's background in law enforcement, declaring somebody in, in effect guilty without giving them the opportunity to tell their side of the story is plain evidence of malice. Uh, that's what it is. Uh, inexplicably, for example, the Mueller report quotes a media report of Assange stating he had physical proof the material did not come from Russia, but Mueller simply dismissed this without having made any attempt at all, to ask Assange himself. It is, um, how much more of this? Yeah, There's not much. This is, this is good stuff. It is also um, particularly cowardly as Julian was and is held uh, with no opportunity to defend himself. Assange has repeatedly declared the material did not come from Russian state or from any other state. He was very willing to give evidence to Mueller, which could have been done by video link by interview in the embassy or by written communication. But as with many, and as with the DNC servers, the entire corrupt Mueller was unwilling to accept any evidence which might contradict his predetermined narrative. Mueller's section headed, quote, the, the GRU's transfer of stolen material to WikiLeaks is a ludicrous farrago of internet contacts between WikiLeaks and persons not proven to be Russian, transferring material not proven to be from the DNC leaks, not proven to be DNC leaks, uh, it too uh, is destroyed by Benny, and so pathetically that, having pretended he had proven the case of internet transfer, Mueller then gives, gives the game away by adding, quote, The office cannot rule out that stolen documents were transferred by intermediaries who visited during the summer of 2016. Ah, man. I missed that line in the the thing, right? In the Mueller report. But if he's saying that, Mueller's saying that a Russian spy came into the DNC and hacked it and and did the dump. He's not ruling it out. What What a blunder. What a blunder of an investigation. Right? They, got, they found nothing. They did nothing, Mueller. That whole two years did nothing to get to the bottom of this case. Uh, he names Mr. Andrew Mueller, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? To run an investigation with a predetermined determined idea as to who are the guilty parties and then to name and condemn those parties in a report without hearing the testimony of those you are accusing is a method of proceeding that puts the cowardly and corrupt Mr. Mueller beneath contempt. It's contempt. They, they're trying to, everybody's trying to pin contempt on somebody. Mueller's in contempt for not analyzing the evidence. They gave him $30 million to do it. Yeah. Mueller gives no evidence whatsoever to back up his simple statement that Seth Rich was not the, the source of the DNC leak. Right. One sentence, right? He accuses Julian Assange of disassembling by... Re, by, by confusing the fact, by referring to Seth's murder, it is an interesting fact that the U.S. security services 
have shown precisely the same level of interest in examining Seth Rich's computers that they have shown in they have they have shown in examining the DNC servers. Right? They've shown the same contempt in in Rich's computer and the DNC computer, right? It is also interesting that that this murder features in a report of historical consequences like that of Mueller, yet has had virtually no serious resource put into finding the killer. Nobody did no interest whatsoever in D.C. to find out who killed Seth Rich, still to this day. Mueller's content condemnation of Julian Assange for allegedly exploiting the death of Seth Rich would be infinitely more convincing if the official answer to the question was, quote, who murdered Sir Seth Rich was not, was not who cares, instead of who cares, right? Who murdered Seth Rich? Who murdered Seth Rich? Julian Assange is alleged or, or, you know, leaned on the fact that it could have been Seth Rich in multiple videos, and you don't investigate it? You don't, you don't look into it? So let's look, at, let's look at this torture thing, right? So Assange. Assange, Julian Assange, in jail in, 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 in England. Seth Rich, dead, right? Dead. That's what they told us. He's dead, right? And he's, in, he's buried somewhere in Omaha, Nebraska, okay? So the guy being tortured in jail is the publisher of the, the WikiLeaks, the whole foundation of this ridiculous Mueller story of Russian hacking. The answer lies in Julian Assange and... The dead guy took it to the grave, right? allegedly. Right? So Julian Assange tortured with psychotropic drugs. Thank you, uh, Sterling Price, bringing this to my attention. Retired USAF Lieutenant Colonel Karen Kowalowski writes in an article posted um, at Lou Rockwell's website that Julian Assange is receiving the same treatment as suspected terrorists while in captivity at Her Majesty's Prison Service at Belmosh in England. They're torturing him, right? Is it true? I, I don't know. I, here's, here's, the, here's the article. This woman seems to be credible, persistent. She, she says that this is what's going on. She doesn't cite any um, source of her. She doesn't cite her source. So we'll just take it at face value. Right? We don't know for sure. If Julian Assange's lawyers can find out, is, is he acting differently? Did they, did they may, he may not know he's been drugged. Maybe they were you know, adding it to his food until he hit, you know, he hit a, um, a test level and then they started questioning him. It's very, very possible in jail because they, they do that. They don't, they're not necessarily going to say, here, swallow this. They'll just, whatever medications he's taken and aspirin and they slip this to him. You're, you're a prisoner, right? You're, 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 you're the property of the state at that point. So they can manipulate your food, your medication, your, you know, your, this, the, they're taking blood out. Meanwhile, they're pushing something in. You know, they can do that to you. And so the FBI, Pentagon, and CIA are interviewing Assange. Kowalski writes, uh, interviewing is the wrong word. I'd like to say doctoring him because it would be more accurate. Uh, excerpt, excerpt that that word implies some care for a positive outcome. Right? So she's pointing to this um, drug uh, BZ. BZ is a powerful drug that uh, produces hallucinations. Soldiers on BZ, BZ could uh, remember only fragments of the experience afterwards. As the drug wore off and as, as the subjects had trouble discerning what was real, many experienced anxiety, aggression, even terror. The New Yorker reported the drug's effect lasted for days. At its peak, Volunteers were totally cut off in their own minds, jolting from one fragment existence to the next. They saw visions, Lullapondian basketball players competing on a, on a tabletop diamond, animals or people or objects that materialized and vanished. Oh, so this wouldn't be, this wouldn't be something subtle, right? It wouldn't be something subtle at all, right? Uh, so if the soul, if the if the uh, lawyers of of Julian Assange can find this out, is he acting strange? Is he out of his mind? Well, then we may believe that BZ has been. Uh... So here's more. Exposed soldiers exhibit bizarre symptoms: rapid mumbling, 
or picking obsessively at bedclothes and other objects, real or imaginary. The drug effects last for days. At its peak, volunteers were totally cut off from their minds. All right, that's where she got it from. Uh, so, so wow, man. So that's some heavy stuff, right? All right. So Seth Rich, it comes down to, it comes down to the only person that can verify who the source of the WikiLeaks can debunk the whole story in one breath is this guy that's now in Belmash prison in 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 England. For something unrelated, for for you know, for revealing uh, uh, facts about the American terror in uh, war crimes in Afghanistan and, and uh, Iraq, uh, right? He was published published stuff, and now he's in prison for something else, and he's going to be extradited, right? So so what's the motive? Why why drug him and confuse him? Right? It's it, because he's going to take, if he's out of his mind and he's a babbling idiot and, and he can't remember what was happening and he can't speak with clarity, he's not believable, right? And maybe he, he may even question his own self. Did I really, did, did this really happen? Did, did, did Seth Rich really give me the thumb drive? Like he'll start questioning himself, right? To, to, to confuse the matter, right? That's what, that's what it's about. That would be the motive to drug Julian Assange in jail. And, and, and again, why is the investigation into Seth Rich, why did it stop? We must know the answer to that. Because if we do know the answer to that, and we know that there, these, these 12 Russian hackers came and were ready to testify, and Mueller pulled it all off the table and closed the, he closed the whole thing before these guys ever had a chance to, to uh, appear and, and say it wasn't us, no evidence the Mueller report is stacked on a pile of shit. All right? We got to find that shit out, man. So, uh, Marcus Conti reporting. Uh, kindly become a Patreon. Patreon, Patreon. Patreon, uh, or make a one-time contribution to this channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Marcus Conti reporting.